Hi, this is Ian Troy, and you are in the cage with Thomas, the wild man, Danny. Thomas, thanks for coming in the cage with me. I'm always going to get in this cage one way or another, whether it's for an interview for you guys or, or getting in the cage to whoop somebody's ass. Nice. Tell me, you're a King of the Cage veteran. Would you give me a lead up? How did you get involved with King of the Cage? How did you meet Terry? Uh, you know what? I met Terry through the uh, cardio fit business back in the day, and he was always like, you know, man, I, I really want to get the Wildman on my show, but I can't afford you just yet. So we waited till uh, show number 11, showtime. I took on Mike Lee, and boy, did I beat the hell out of Mike Lee. When broke his own orbital socket, man. Thomas, uh, what have you seen or what have you experienced that people do to gain an advantage in the cage? You know what I've seen a lot of and I've actually competed a lot of is uh, steroid abuse. And uh, what cracks me up, man, is you know these guys say they're champions and they're this and they're that, but you know, why do you need to still cheat? You go to bed at night knowing you cheated, whether it's steroid use, baby oil, grease, whatever you're doing to get an advantage. I mean, if you're truly a champion, you know, just get in here and fight, man. Let's see what you got. So have you ever used steroids? I've never used steroids. I don't condone steroids. If I hear any of my guys on steroids, they can be kicked off my team. So then talk to me about, we already discussed that steroids is not the way to go. Why don't you tell me a better alternatives to steroids? You know what the big thing is nowadays in MMA? You know, everybody knows an arm bar, everybody knows how to punch, everybody knows how to throw a kick. It's a scramble. So you gotta have a good scramble. In order to have good scrambles, you gotta have great fitness, great cardio. So guys, get out there, train your ass off, and work as hard as you can on your fitness. Get your fitness level up, a great diet, and you will be unstoppable in the cage as well. Thomas, what brings you here to New Mexico today? Um, you know what, toe-to-toe uh, -to -toe and king-size thread sponsored uh, Rick Legier coming out here to fight uh, Quinn Mulhern. So, uh, you know, of course I try to get out to all my guys and uh, corner all my guys. Seems when I'm not there, bad things happen. So uh, I made it a, a point of 2009 to beat all my guys to fight. I mean, I just got back from Canada. Right before that, I was in Denver, so now I'm out here in New Mexico. I'm just stoked that, that everybody in New Mexico has been so friendly and nice opening up to us. So I'm really excited to be a part of MMA out here. It's, from my point of view, there have been oftentimes a lot of fighters. In fact, I think you fought Tomas Padilla. He's a New Mexico native. There's been a lot of fighters that go from New Mexico to California. And so it's really, really good to see Thomas from California coming down to New Mexico. Do you think that'll be a trend? Do you think we'll see more California fighters leaving California coming down to New Mexico? You know what? If, if it's as friendly and as nice a, of an environment as this is today, I mean, I would love for my team, Team Wildman, we got, you know, 40 professional fighters. I'd love to bring them out here. I'd love to compete out here. I mean, everybody out here seems to bring a fight in them. They're all good fighters. So uh, I'd, I'd be more than happy to come back out here. Is there anybody you want to say thanks to or throw a shout out to? You know, I want to thank Toe to Toe for obviously, you know, all their help helping us out. King Size Threads, they're uh, definitely putting a name on the map. Thomas, the wild man. Denny, thanks for stepping in the cage. New Mexico Combat Sports.com. If you haven't been there, then you don't know who the been fighting. 